This video is created by Jagrat Creation. I want to solve one sum on retirement of a partner. Just observe the sum on the screen. This is the sum that I intend to solve here before you. Mahesh, Naresh and Suresh are partners in a firm sharing profits and losses in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. The balance sheet of the firm as on 31st of March 2017 is as under. On asset side you are given building, machinery, furniture, data slash bad debt reserve, stock cash balance, capital of Mahesh, Naresh, Suresh, general reserve, that is undistributed profit, distributed in the ratio of profit sharing among partners at the time of retirement, creditors, provident fund. On 1 for 2017, Naresh retired with the following conditions. Goodwill of the firm was valued at 12,000 and the share of Naresh of Goodwill is to be adjusted to other partners' capital accounts. So, Goodwill is to be adjusted to the capital accounts of the partners and for that, adjustment is to be done on the basis of gain ratio. Bad debt reserve is to be provided at the rate of 10% non debtors. Some of the some of the assets of the firm have been revalued as under building 58,000, machinery 26,000, furniture 18,000, stock 30,000, create a discount reserve on creditors rupees 2,000, for rupees 2,000. Out of the dues payable to nourish 20,000 are to be retained in the firm as loan and the balance is to be paid to a retiring partner. Total capital of the new firm is fixed for that 20,000 between. Mahesh and Suresh, in the new profit selling ratio 3 is to 1, necessary cash is to be brought and paid off. Prepare profit and loss adjustment account, the other name is revaluation account, partner's capital account, cash account and the balance sheet of the new firm. Now for the purpose of solving this sum, first step, I am going to consider revaluation adjustment. Second step, copy the remaining details of the balance sheet. Third step, close revaluation account or profit and loss adjustment account. Distribute the profit or loss on revaluation of assets and liabilities to all the partners in the profit sharing ratio. After doing all these things, I am going to consider the adjustment for goodwill. Goodwill is adjusted to the capital accounts of the partners. I will find out the gain ratio of continuing partner and in that gain ratio, the goodwill required to be paid to retiring partner will be distributed to the gaining part or continuing part. Or. So continuing partner's capital account will be debited and the retiring partner's capital account will be credited for his share of goodwill. After that I am going to go for, I, 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 I'll go for capital adjustment. Here you are told that total capital to be kept 120,000 after retirement that to in the profit sharing ratio. That is the last point that I am going to consider. After that I am going to tell you the balance sheet. Let me start with first adjustment. Let me start with first step that is considered revaluation adjustment. But before that, I will prepare revaluation account, profit and loss adjustment account means revaluation account, cash account, capital account, balance sheet. First consider the revaluation adjustment. Bad debt reserve is to be provided at 10% on debtors. Debtors are 30,000. 10% bad debt reserve is 3000. So required bad debt reserve is 3000. Existing bad debt reserve is 2000. Access bad debt reserve, pro bad debt reserve provision for bad debt reserve required is 1000. For that you are required to debit. Revaluation account or the profit and loss adjustment account is to be debited with 1000 and 3000 gets deducted from debtors and debtors appear on the balance sheet asset side at 27000. So here 1000 is debited and this additional 1000 to be de debited to revaluation account is added to this 2000 and 3000 rupees are deducted from debtors. So the debtors reported in the balance sheet at its realizable, realizable value that is 27000. Next adjustment. Building were revalued at 58000. So 52000 is the book value. Valuation made is 58,000. Increase in value of building 6,000 credited to profit and loss adjustment account. And building will appear in the balance sheet at 58,000. 6,000 is credited to profit and loss adjustment account. Next, machinery valued at 26,000. 
value of book value of machine is 30,000, valued at 26,000, decrease in value of machine is a loss, debited to profit and loss adjustment account, and the revalued value, 26,000, will appear on the balance sheet asset side. So 4,000 debited to revaluation account and 26,000 appear as the value of machinery in the balance sheet. Next, furniture, 18,000. Book value is 20,000, decline in value 2,000. So 18,000 furniture reported in the balance sheet and decrease in the value of furniture debited to profit and loss adjustment account. Stock valued at 30,000. The book value of stock is 25,000. So increase in value of stock is 5,000. That is required to be credited to profit and loss adjustment account. So stock will appear in the balance sheet at 30,000 and increase in the value of stock appears on the credit side of profit and loss adjustment account that is 5,000. Now creditors create a discount is on creditors 2,000. If you create a discount is on creditors that means discount likely to be earned at the time of making payment to creditors and that is again it will be credited to revaluation account or profit and loss adjustment account. So 22,000 minus 2,000 this is again credited to profit and loss adjustment account. Now after considering all this revaluation adjustment I would like to copy the remaining balances from balance sheet to the respective places. So copy the remaining balance sheet capital of Mahesh opening balance Naresh and Suresh capital balances are recorded. General is of 18,000 distributed in the ratio of profit sharing. That is 3 is to 2 is to 1. This is a profit sharing ratio in which general is of being undistributed profits gets distributed. So 18,000 into 3 by 6, 9,000. Then 6,000 and 1 6, that is 3,000. General is of distributed. Provident fund is a liability to be carried forward in the new balance sheet as it is. This is how all the details of balance sheet are considered except cash balance. Cash balance will appear as opening cash, opening balance in cash account. Now, I would like to close this profit and loss adjustment account. Whatever the profit or lo loss that occurs by revaluation of assets and liabilities that will be distributed amongst partners in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So, Close profit and loss adjustment account, distribute profit or loss in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So 13,000 minus 7,000, 6,000 is the profit distributed in the ratio of 3 is to 2 is to 1. So 3 to 1, profit is credited to the partner's capital account. So capital accounts are credited with 3,000, 2,000 to Naresh and 1,000 to Suresh. This is how the third step close profit and loss adjustment account or the other name is revaluation account that is being closed and the profit is credited to the partner's capital account. Now I am required to consider the goodwill adjustment. Consider the goodwill adjustment. Goodwill of the firm is 12,000. Naresh retires. His share is 3 is to 2 is to 1. So 2 by 6, one third share. So 12,000 into one third share, 4,000 is the value of 4,000 is the share of retiring partner in goodwill that will be given to retiring partner that is Naresh. That payment will be made by Mahesh and Suresh in the ratio of profit gain, profit gain by them. So I would like to work out gain ratio and the amount of goodwill to be paid to a retiring partner will be borne by continuing partner in the ratio of their gain. So let me work it out. For that let me prepare a working note. Old ratio 3 is to 2 is to 1 between M and Mahesh, Naresh and Suresh. New ratio is 3 is to 1, so 3 fourth and 1 fourth. To find out the gain ratio, new share minus old share. So for Mahesh, 3 fourth minus 3 by 6. So share gain by Mahesh is 6 by 24 and that of Suresh 1 fourth minus 1 sixth. So 6 minus 4 upon 24. So 2 by 24, so gain ratio is 6 is to 2, so 3 is to 1. So share of Naresh in, in goodwill, 12,000 into 2 by 6, 4,000, he is to be paid 4,000. And this 4,000 will be supported by M and S in the ratio of 3 is to 1, so 3,000 and 1,000. So Mahesh capital account debit 3,000, Suresh capital account debit 1,000, 
to Naresh Capital Account Credit 4000. So if you go for ledger posting, Mahesh and Suresh Capital Account is debited by 3000 and 1000 and Naresh Capital Account is credited with the 4000 that is his share in goodwill. This is how goodwill adjustment is considered. After doing that, I want to consider the capital adjustment. But before that, how much amount is paid to retiring part of that is to be considered. So out of the to, out of the dues payable, Naresh rupees twenty thousand are to be retained in a firm as his loan. So from the total payment to be made to Naresh, twenty thousand is to be retained as loan, and the remaining amount is to be paid. So let me find out the amount to be paid. So here the loan carried forward. 20,000 that appears on the balance sheet liability side and from this total 20,000 loan gets deducted balance amount will be paid so total of 52,000 minus 20,000 20, so 30,000 30, 32,000 is to be paid in cash so Naresh capital account debit to cash account debit so this is how retiring partners capital account is closed now I am required to go for capital adjustment wherein partners have decided to keep a total capital of 1 like 20,000 and the ratio of 3 is to 1. So let me find out the capital required to be maintained. So 1 like 20,000 into 3 fourth and 1 fourth. So total capital of Mahesh should be 90,000. So his capital is 60,000 plus 9,000 plus 3,000 3, minus 3,000. So his capital is 69,000. He is required to keep a capital of 90,000. So 90,000 minus 69,000. That is 21,000. That is required to bring. Now Suresh is required to maintain a capital of 30,000. His capital is 20,000 plus 3,000 plus 1,000 minus 1,000. So his capital is 23,000. And he wants to maintain a capital of 30,000. So 30,000 minus 23,000. 7,000 is a capital that is required to bring. But I can find out the same thing in a different way. I write closing balance of capital in the balance sheet as well as in the capital account. Capital to be maintained by Suresh is also 30,000. So 1 lakh 20,000 capital is maintained. Now total of this side is 93,000 minus this total. I will get the amount to be brought by Mahesh. So this 93,000 93, 93, minus 60,000, 9,000 and 3,000. By cash, he is required to bring 21,000 that I already explained to you. So cash brought by Mahesh, cash account debit to Mahesh capital account. And here also we have already worked out that is required to bring 7,000 rupees. But 30 plus 130, 1,000 minus. So 7,000 is a cash that Suresh bring cash account debit to Suresh capital account. Now I will, now I will find out the cash balance. 15,000, 21,000 plus 7,000. So 43,000 minus 32,000. So closing cash balance will appear on the balance sheet asset side. Now have a total of balance sheet asset side and liability side. It should agree. So total of both the sides. Assets and liabilities 170,000. This is how the sum on retirement is solved here before you. I feel that you have followed all these things. Thanks to you.